Hi friends, thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'll show you how to create three different animated progress bars in PowerPoint, like this one, this next one here, and finally this one. Maybe you're playing a game and you want the players to each have 10 seconds, so you have a progress bar like this. All of this is super easy to do in PowerPoint, so let's get started. All right, for this first one, we're gonna insert a shape. I'll grab the rectangle here and just kind of eyeball it on the screen. For this first one, we don't want any kind of fill, but we do want an outline. We'll make it black. And for weight, let's say six. Then I'll duplicate that, or Control C, Control V, copy paste. And for this other one, we want a fill of, I'll say blue, but you can choose whatever color you want. And then no outline for this one. And then I'll bring this one with the outline to the front and get these to line up here. Okay, so that's the progress bar. You might just want to insert some text as well so you know what this is. Progress, and we'll do kind of a large font here. All right, now the magic of this happens in the animation. So select the blue rectangle, and then come up to animations. This one will want to use a wipe animation. And by default, yours will probably come up from the bottom like mine just did. So choose effect options, and we want this to come from the left, like that, which is pretty fast progress. You also want to update the duration here to whatever it is you're timing. Maybe it's five seconds, maybe it's five minutes, maybe it's an hour, whatever it is. Just to keep things nice and short here, I'm going to type in a five for five second duration on this one. And now if we go down to slideshow, I'll click to start. And you see the progress bar there. That'll take five seconds to fill up. All right, super easy. Our next progress bar will be very similar. So I'll just place my mouse here, hit enter for a new slide. This one, we're also going to use a rectangle. So insert shapes, grab your rectangle, and start all the way over here on the left to about right here. Again, it's fine to eyeball it. This one, let's make shape fill. I'll go with green. You can choose another color if you want, though. And no outline. And for this one, maybe you're coming back from lunch or a coffee break or something like that, and you want to display the next session coming up. I'll just put a line here to kind of mark the end, saying when this ends, this is when the session's going to start, something like that. For outline, we'll go with the green as well. And I'll make the weight say a three, and then I'll insert some text with information about the upcoming session. So maybe this is a one o'clock afternoon session. And I'll just increase the size of this. This isn't super important to the progress bar, but just some information here about the session. All right, animation wise, we're going to do the same thing that we just did. So select your rectangle here come up to animations. This will also be a wipe. But once again, we want it to come in from the left. So choose effect options from the left, just like that. Again, your duration, let's say that you were at lunch and you wanted this to play for the hour during lunch, you can enter an hour. I'm just going to go with five seconds. And if we play that, I'll start to click. And there you go, five seconds, the session starts. Okay. The third and final example here, let's say that you're doing a game of some sort and you want players to have 10 seconds to answer the question or do the task or whatever you want them to do. So I'll insert, we'll go with shapes again here. And I'm just gonna use some small rectangles. I need 10 of these. You can choose whatever color you want. I'm gonna go with that blue again and no outline. I'll copy paste until we have 10. Just line these up, kind of eyeball it. Okay, there's eight, and then two more. 
There we go. And for some text, we'll insert up here, we'll say game. You have 10 seconds, something like that. And we'll just center this over the progress bar. Okay, so this one, we want it to kind of count or have one of these appear every second so we can tell what the progress is. So here, I'll select the first one, come up to animations and appear. You could also use fade. Let's go with a fade. Or you could try some of the other entrance animations as well. So this one, we'll want to start on click, that's fine. But the subsequent shapes will go with the same thing, fade, but these should start automatically after the previous one. So we'll say after previous, and because we're counting 10 seconds here, it should be delayed one second. Now with this selected, the animation painter is really handy here. So if you click on the animation painter here, it'll basically copy paste or paint over the animations from one thing to another. And if you double click it, it lets you do multiple objects. So I'll double click animation painter and I'll paint the same animation onto this one and all of the subsequent ones as well as I'm doing that. If you're finding this helpful, I'd really appreciate you hitting the like button so it can spread to more people and also consider subscribing as well so you get more content like this. All right, two more left and then we'll be able to play this. Okay, I'll hit escape to get out of that animation painter mode and then come down to slideshow. All right, I'll click to start. And then every one second, we should get another bar or rectangle appearing. So this can be a fun way to kind of count down for the game. Maybe you have one of these per slide with different colors of rectangles, something like that for the duration of the game. So there you go, three different ideas for animated progress bars here in PowerPoint. For other tips and tricks, check out my PowerPoint playlist, and I hope to see you in the next video.